This hurts, man. You know, I'm affected by coronavirus. And just like us all, this thing just came out the blue. My business is affected. My life is affected. Things have changed. And instead of pretending like I'm all right, I'm going through it. Just like you. And I want you to know something. As I'm out here with my kids, football field, enjoying life, trying not to let this thing control me, control us. But I want to tell you something. Coronavirus has the power to destroy us mentally before it ever, or if it ever, touches us physically. There's so many changes in people's lives. Kids are having to stay at home at school, from school. People are having to work from home. People are getting laid off. People's businesses are, are losing money. Nurses and doctors are getting overwhelmed. Everybody's going through it. But I want to tell you something. Focus on the things you can control and pray about the things that you can. Because when we focus on the things we can't control, worry sets in, stress sets in, anxiety sets in, and we become affected even more by this virus, especially mentally. Because when you break down mentally, everything else starts to break down. I want you to make your perspective, your power, instead of your prison. As hard as it is, trust me, Find the beauty in it. Maybe like myself, I'm getting to sit down and spend more time with my family. Maybe it's helped you create a, a better idea. Maybe you're going to see just how much of a hero you are, especially those in the medical field. What's going to be the strength that comes out of this struggle? What's going to be the power that comes out of this moment where you feel so powerless? Also, let this build compassion in your heart. This should show us all that none of us are just all the way good. I don't care how rich you are, how much fame you have. We're all one tragedy, one struggle, one moment away from our lives completely, completely changing. So next time you see that person that has cancer, think about them because their life completely changed in that moment. You see that person that's paralyzed because of a wreck, their lives completely changed in that moment. You see that homeless person. Maybe they made a bad decision or maybe they had something unfair happen to them. Their lives changed in that moment. This should really help us have empathy for people because none of us are bulletproof. It's a tragedy. And last but not least, faith over fears. Let the hardest times Build your strongest faith. Struggle, hard times, will always reveal your true faith. Faith not tested is not faith at all. You keep believing, you keep staying positive, and you keep seeing the beauty in this storm. Comment below what this struggle is gonna build in your life that becomes strength. Take care of your mental health, protect your peace, and let's give love to our neighbors. Let's help each other because everybody's in a position that they've never been in before. Reach out, it's rehab time. Let's get it.